Well, Anna Grace Cooper, a homeschooled student nominated for a high school Hall of Fame, just scored a win not only for herself, but possibly for other homeschoolers. This, of course, a Fox Carolina follow because when Gaffney High School administrators decided Anna Grace wasn't eligible for her Hall of Fame, well, they took some action. Fox Carolina's Jennifer Phillips is live in Gaffney with the latest details about this decision. Hey, Jen. Hey, Shell, so the interim superintendent Donald Andrews overturned the principal's decision. And so when that happened, now Anna Grace will be inducted into the Gaffney Hall of Fame. A first for a homeschooler. Anna Grace Cooper is working on her footwork. Soon she'll be kicking around a soccer field at Spartanburg Methodist College because she just scored a soccer scholarship. She puts forth 110 percent effort. So when her coach nominated her for the Gaffney High School Hall of Fame, her family proud. A lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of practice, of course. Deanna Cooper is Anna Grace's mother and teacher because she's homeschooled. And the state's equal access law allows her to participate in public school extracurricular activities like sports. Over the past couple of years, her focus was that she wanted to be able to play at the college level. She's also played basketball at Gaffney High, and her soccer skills earned her several awards, including MVP. Her coach felt very confident when she submitted her name. But the Coopers received a letter which stated Anna Grace wouldn't be eligible for the Hall of Fame. The letter sent by the Gaffney High School principal states, administrators review nominations to ensure eligibility. It reads, all Hall of Fame inductees have been seniors enrolled in and attending classes at GHS. It goes on to state because Anna Grace is not a GHS student, she was not eligible for the Hall of Fame. For our family, it was disheartening because Anna Grace had earned it. So the Coopers filed an appeal with the school district's interim superintendent who overturned that decision. Based on the information that we had presented, also because unfortunately there were no written rules and policies in place that Anna Grace would be inducted into the Hall of Fame. And now Anna Grace has made a move into the history books. So initially when the high school principal deemed Anna Grace ineligible for the Hall of Fame, another student was chosen for the Hall of Fame. She was inducted last week and now Anna Grace will have a special induction ceremony tomorrow at the school district office. Shale. And I know, Jen, we're both here. I was just curious because I know you first broke the story a couple weeks ago. How did they feel at the time? Did they think this was going to be overturned or were they really surprised when they got the news that this is going to happen? Well, of course, they hoped it would be overturned, so they are definitely pleased with the decision. We did talk to the interim superintendent. He says this is no one's fault. He says, unfortunately, this happened because there aren't any rules in place, and this has just never come up before, but there has been a task force that has been created, and that task force will now have the job of trying to create some rules and guidelines to try to deal with the situation if it ever occurs again. Guys, back to you.